So let's take a look at this. So this is the post or the tweet or the X post that got me thinking about this. Shout out to car dealership guy for posting this. New car deals are heating up. Incentives as a percentage of average transaction prices increased to 5.9% in March, the highest level since July of 2021. Expect deals to continue improving for most brands. And we are starting to see this across across the board with big discounts, big incentives across the board for all these different brands. But of course, Tesla is going in a different direction, right? They just increased the price of the Tesla Model Y by $1,000, which didn't, you know, I mean, it might have worked because inventory certainly decreased a lot by the end of March. And so it had the, the, this reverse effect for sure. But what I think is happening is because they also increased the price of the Model Y by $1,000 right before for that as well. Here is the actual price tracking chart so that you can actually see it for yourself. So we can see down here all the way at the bottom. Sorry, it's fine print or small print. January of 2024, the price of the Model Y was 48,990. Then it went down to 47,990, went back up to 48,990, and now it is at 49,990 for the Model Y long range, which we're going to use Model Y long range because that's the one that most people are looking to purchase and it's a good baseline or good indicator for what the prices of the Tesla Model Y is, especially for the Model Y because Model Y is their most volume vehicle at the moment because Model 3 refresh is still ramping up. So very interesting to see. So this is like one of like what, number one or two reason why you should not buy a Tesla right now unless you have found a fantastic inventory discount and some of them do exist. Like they like this one right here on the screen, $5,100 off or this one right here, which is $8,100 off. There's plenty out there that you can try and get into, but you got to do a little bit of searching on the websites or even ask a Tesla advisor. And of course, don't forget to use a Tesla referral code, just like the one down below in the description. So you can get three months of full self-driving, which is valued at $600. Thank you to everybody that's used our Tesla referral code in the past and in the future. But I can certainly agree. Incentives are going to be keep rising and rising which is going to put more pressure on Tesla to try and get, add more discounts or incentives as well, especially when Model Y inventory is still trending at a up and up and higher pace. And so certainly I would say maybe if you do not need a vehicle right now, but you're interested in Tesla Model Y, my advice has kind of been the same for a while. Wait till the end of the quarter, which is going to be June of this year. But if you need a vehicle now, then just try and find an inventory discount that is out there because Tesla's messing with the prices. Again, they're going up and down a thousand dollars left and right. And so certainly I would say just wait it out if you can. The third reason or the second or third reason I kind of lost count at this point is that especially if you're shopping for the Model Y, there will be a Model Y refresh, whether it's a sub refresh. I, I guess I shouldn't say it will be, but there most likely will be a Model Y refresh in the near future. And I'm not talking about the big refresh that's going to be happening next year. I'm talking about like a subtle, small refresh in the near future. And so what happens here is if you if you don't know what happens for Tesla, they like to do these like mini refreshes uh, every once in a while. And so the last one, I guess I missed a photo here, but uh, basically it was LED interior to match the Model 3, the Model 3 Highland, and also a new rim change for the Model Y as well. You can see kind of what we're talking about, the new black rims on the, uh, I guess it's just a black wheel cap, but LED interior plus the new Model Y, Model y rim caps is what the refresh will most likely be in the US. When this comes out or when if it does come out, there most likely will be a high chance of a refresh coming out later this year. So if you always want the latest and greatest, then that could be something you want to wait for as well in the near future. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you're thinking.